Dragon Age Origins was rated M for Mature by the ESRB and contains blood, intense violence, language, partial nudity, and sexual content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, my name is Amaranth and I play games for the internet and today we're playing Dragon Age Origins! Uh, last time we went through the ruined temple and we went through all of the trials to receive the urn of sacred ashes and we got some and now we're going to go to Redcliffe to use these ashes to save Arl Eamon. Oh, goodness gracious. And... You know what we could do? We don't have to, but there is a high dragon. We could pick a fight right now. Except that it's level 18 and an elite boss, and we're only level 16, so maybe not. <laughs> maybe we're just gonna go. Oh, goodness gracious. So, between, um, Oh, gosh. I'm actually kind of tired today. Ugh. Pardon me. It's very chilly in my room right now. Uh, as I'm recording this, and it makes me just want to get in bed under my covers and be a little burrito of warmth. Um, oh, goodness. For me, it's actually been a little while between recording sessions for Faria and uh, you're not going to notice because I have a wonderful uh backlog of episodes recorded which is uh, really fun because right now it's you know recording this it's November posting it you're not gonna get this until March Which I find delightful, but also maybe I should change my posting schedule. Maybe it's been changed by the time this goes up. Who knows? Not me. I don't know shit. I don't know why people ask me questions. Amaranth, why'd you have for breakfast this mor breakfast this morning? I don't friggin' know. It was like two hours ago, man. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh. This should be easy enough. I didn't realize I didn't get stuff. Huh. Awkward. It's just been sitting here this whole time. I feel like there should have been a fast travel option. Maybe there was, and I'm just an idiot.
Yeah, I can't fast travel from here. Well, because I'm inside, but who knows. God, I can't stop yawning. But yeah, right now it's pretty cold. And it makes me tired. It also makes my joints hurt, but that's neither here nor there. I'm used to that part by now. Where my fellow chronic pain sufferers at? Sometimes I wonder about what chronic pain must be like, or at least be dealt with in uh, places that have... I say places, but it's not the right word, and I don't remember what the word I'm t I need is. Uh, in places like Thetis where there is magic healing magic like what is that like <gasps> hi buddy hey buddy oh who's a good buddy Asa. Good boy. Uh, but like, what must that be like in if place? If there's anything I can do for yes, you, please, yes, please, yes. please tell me. Let's see where's Borden. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. I'm sure. Oh, right, but again, what must it be like in places like Thetis, that do have um, healing magic and uh, things like that that could help. You know what I mean? Like, stuff for money oh right uh, as long as we have Colgrim's horn we can go and uh Um, fight that dragon, the dragon Andraste, uh, whenever we want. By the way, we are at our max, um... Our max capacity. Unfortunately, we don't get more than, um... 125 spaces. That's not what I wanted.
Valentin's reach is the same as Mage's Eye, except for that it deals plus two damage, but that has f plus four attack. Andraste's arrows currently have Elf Flight on. Um, Liliana. Marshalland spell? Can't use either of those. Okay, Zevron. Valentine's Reach. There we go. Um, Sell these two now. Um, Morrigan. Well, let's um, win. Oh, that's fine. Then never mind, Morrigan. the juggernaut stuff. Lillian already has one. Sorry, this is all boring, I know. She's got the ancient elven. No. But her Dalish boots give her plus. Let's go through this stuff. Hang on to this mm. belt of the largest load spell power. Right, Warden's Oath. This is Liliana's special thing. Um... I asked Alistair to hang on to my necklace. 
Gracious Quar. Hmm. Wynn has her belt, Magister Shield. Hmm. And that's Ring of Faith. Adds to fire damage, but she doesn't really do that. So record. Oh, Apprentice's amulet is good. Um, here, take reflection. Severin, Sailor's Charm. only have one ring and it's a silver ring. my god wildstone class of the cord of shattered dreams i can't not have her wear that um it's the thing the apprentice's amulet is good though So is, mm, I'll hang on to it for now, I guess. <sighs> okay. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Where I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Always. Okay, that should help, question mark? Do I need to talk to anyone? You've seen and touched Andraste's ashes. They are the holiest thing on this earth, the remains of the Maker's Chosen. <sighs> I would not have disturbed them but for the Isle's sake. I know. It seems almost irreverent to use her as a curative. And it is also a tiny bit morbid. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. Andraste fought for everyone. She belongs to us all. Yes, of course. But it still is something to be in awe of. Ask away. Uh, never mind. Uh, Stead? What is your wish, Kadan? I want a hug. As you wish. We don't get this. Um, Shale? It speaks. Um, I have some questions. It doesn't have better things to do. No. Um... Are those crystals in your skin? I like to think of them as accessories. But what did they do? 
I suspect that it is an art that was practiced when golems were more, um, commonplace. My former master collected whatever lore he could find on the subject. He searched far and wide to collect what crystals he could and then added them. It is not an unpleasant sensation. That still doesn't explain anything. As I understand it, the crystals allow me to alter the flow of magic around me. Wilhelm had hoped to turn me into a battery of mana, something he could tap at will. Did he succeed? Not really, although now that I think of it, these attempts may be what caused my disruption. Some of the crystals increase the presence of mana, some absorb or reflect spells. There are various kinds. All I can promise is that should it ever find one of these crystals, I can likely tell it the function and what it would do if added to me. Would you be willing to have more added? Why not? I don't get to wear clothing and other adornments like the rest of you creatures after all. That answers its question, I assume. Unless it has more. I'm told you killed your former master. Did I not already tell it that I do not remember doing such? I remember having a master. My memories of what happened to him are vague. Vague, but not non-existent. Clever and true. Oh, very well. Let me see what I can recall. My former master enjoyed experimenting upon me. I remember that much. There was tinkering with spells and then the crystals. He was very eager to alter my function, I think. Alter you? Why? You're fine as you are. Flattery. And obvious flattery, too. I feel warm and fuzzy inside. He possessed my control rod, and back then, it would have prevented me from doing anything he did not command me to, no matter how I might have wished to. So what happened? I am unsure. He was experimenting, and then... nothing. Are you sure? Nothing at all? There was... pain. I do not feel it as soft creatures do, so the memory is an odd one. And then he was gone. I was standing where I was, in the village, and I could no longer move. The villagers came, poked and prodded me in fear, and then realized they could neither move me nor destroy me. So they simply left me. And in time, I forgot I hadn't stood there all along. Mm. That must have been terrible. I'm sorry. In fact, at first, I found it more of a relief. For so many years, I'd had to leap to that little toadstool's every command. Get this, pick up that, put it down, pick it up again. The gall! At first, I'd hoped he'd simply decided to leave me there paralyzed. An acceptable trade-off. After years passed, I simply stopped caring. Uh... I don't believe you. <laughs> well, good for it. Whatever the mage did seemed to render the control rod useless, for which I should be thankful, yes? And provided it doesn't decide to copy his experiments, not that I would allow it, it is nothing to fear from me. Much. I was simply curious about the story. And now it knows, and doesn't it feel better? Let us get back to the walking and the fighting. My stone is beginning to itch again. Shale approves plus one. Uh. Alright. Uh. What say you? Uh. Can you answer some questions? By all means. Oh. So, tell me more about your adventures. Again? Well now, what might interest you, I wonder? Shall I describe the stages involved with Lanthrax poisoning? I watched a man go through all seven once. <laughs> if you
if you like, certainly. <laughs> no, I'll not inflict that upon you just yet. Let's see, how about the largest battle I ever took part in? That would have been the slaughter of Prince Azrin. Did you hear of that down in these parts? You killed a prince? Me? Not personally, but I did take part in the attack. Prince Azrin was fourth in line to the throne, you see. He started off as 11th, but worked his way up the old-fashioned method by inheriting control of an entire Crocell from his grandfather. After assassinating his way through the royal family, the king hired three other cells to take down Prince Azrin once and for all. I was in one of those cells. Is this sort of thing common in Antiva? Antivan royalty is very much bound up in the crows. You wouldn't want it run by a bunch of commoners, after all, would you? And this means they get involved in politics quite often. This particular fight nearly bankrupted the nation, I understand. It almost ended up putting a crow on the throne, a commoner. But that's a whole different story. I played a very small part. What did you do? My part in the entire battle was taken up trying to reach Princess Verina, who had thrown in with her brother. I killed about 11 of her guards personally before I got knocked out of a window. I landed in the river and nearly drowned. I was fished out by some urchins who robbed me blind. Made off with my boots, too. At least they didn't cut my throat. And that was my part in history. <laughs> You're very lucky indeed. <laughs> it's true. I live a charmed life. One of the prostitutes that raised me was a fortune teller. Said I wouldn't die young. She was rather startled by that. But there you go. Tale told. Let's be off before I tell more embarrassing stories, huh? <laughs> and, uh, gifts. Let's give gifts. And leather. So, I have these pair of Antifan leather boots. Mmm, that smell. This is Antivan leather, isn't it? I would know that anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how you found it, but thank you. <laughs> You're quite welcome. Now, if only you could find me a prostitute or two, a bowl of fish chowder, and a corrupt politician, I'd really feel like I was home. <laughs> We'd have to go back and to dinner. And feet as that. well. Marvelous. We'd have to go back to Denerim for all those things, buddy. Sorry. Uh, you have excellent taste. You're welcome. Um, more again. Here you go. Interesting. Uh, a fine gift. You have my thanks. A fine gift. You have my thanks. A fine gift. You have my thanks. Is that for me? Really? Wow! I'm... T wow! Excellent. And I know who this is all for. This is all for... Or maybe... Hmm. I don't know who the, this one is for. But all the booze is for... A uh, the last of our um, companions. Yes, we still haven't gotten everyone. We're still in like the first third of the game, maybe. What do you have to say? What's on your mind? As a Grey Warden, I'll never lead a normal life, will I? No, you won't. I already knew the answer. Don't know why I asked. 
because you were not looking for the answer, but for someone to tell you that in spite of it, you'll be all right. You wonder sometimes, don't you? If your life would be better if you weren't who you are. No. Mm. A little. When I was a young woman in the tower, I came to the realization that the circle would be my life, and I would know no other. Family, love, a simple life. These were things that others took for granted that I would never have. And this upset you? It made me very moody. All I could think of was being trapped in that tower with no way out and no end in sight. I started hating my life and myself, and one night I found myself in the tower's chapel. I was seeking refuge, maybe answers. Did you find anything? I must have looked tearful or made some noise because the revered mother came out and decided to speak to me. And because I had no one else to talk to, I talked to her. I must have said many silly things, but she told me that the Maker puts us all on our paths for a reason, and fighting our intended course is what causes so much anguish. And that made you feel better? <laughs> I thought the old biddy was full of rubbish. I was 15, maybe 16, and I knew everything. So I left, but I always found my way back to that chapel. And as the years passed, I began to see the truth of her words. We were supposed to be polar opposites, mage and priest, but we weren't. There was much about us that was the same. But priests have to choose to be priests. Mages don't. Not all priests choose their path. Some children are given to the Chantry to raise and become initiates. The revered mother had lived in the Chantry all her life, as I had been in the tower for all of mine. She taught me that you can find your family in the people around you, that you can love your work and find fulfillment in duty. And there is joy even in self-sacrifice. If you put others before yourself, and their well-being is yours, and their happiness is your happiness. Hmm. Won't be easy to live that way. You can scream and cry and be angry about life as a Grey Warden, or you can accept it and allow yourself to see the good in it. This is your choice. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Yes. Yes. And Harley for now. Because we're going to Redcliffe Castle. Okay. Let's get started. Trap! It does not matter that the fight is over. You unlock 
everything on it. for that sweet, sweet XP. This should be easy enough. On it. Right. As you wish. On it. This should be easy enough. There is a draft in by the window by my computer. Trap! And holy shit, it is freezing. <laughs> this tree <laughs> good job buddy and that's why I brought him so that he can pee on literally everything anyway let's go save the Arl eh? you have news? I found the end. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Lady is old, who is absolutely alive and not dead like the game thinks. Good job, game. Hey, he's alive! Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isold? I am here, my husband. And Connor? Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead, there is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then it was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? Uh, I need your help against the Blight. That will do. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Because he's a twat. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. 
Mad enough to kill Kalen to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. What are you proposing, Nin? We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. But once everyone learns what he's done... I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. You intend to put Alistair forward as king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. My blessing? Why do you need my blessing? None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the lands meet, but I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. Mm. I say we proceed with your plan. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I've done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He seems earnest in his desire to repent. Oh? That is... unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is... Strain. Give him to the Circle of Magi. True enough, and wisely said. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the Landsmeet. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. And so... Arl Emin is serving as the plot wall! You know, so... Next, we basically have to do, um, Orismar, I believe. Hey, Harley. No. No. <gasps> hey, buddy. Do you see anything interesting? Oh, thank 
Thank you. Cake! Excellent! Good boy! Oh, a good boy. Oh, good boy. Do you see anything? Oh, it's alright. Yeah, if you talk to your dog, he can go and, like, find things. Uh... <sighs> yeah? Do you see anything? Oh, that's alright. It doesn't seem to have found anything interesting. What I am gonna do is pet the dog. Yes. Oh, it's a good boy. And, however, hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to end it here. And I will see you all in the next episode where we uh, continue on to Orzammar. Or maybe do Soldier's Peak. Mm. Orzammar, then Soldier's Peak. Uh, but in the meantime, I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye!